Welcome to Mort's Bunker. Welcome to Mort's Bunker. Hello, my name is Meredith Coloma, and I'm the lead guitar repair technician at Rufus Guitar Shop on Commercial Drive. Today, we're going to do a setup, a very basic setup, on this short scale Freya. That's going to include adjusting the string height, the truss rod, as well as intonating it, and then doing the pickup height adjustment. We're going to start by tuning the guitar to pitch. So I'll get my poly tune here. All right, and the very first thing I do is play every single string all the way up the fretboard to see where, or to see if there's any buzzing. All right, so I'm noticing some buzzing here in this area, as well as the middle, especially on those lower strings. So what that tells me is that the strings are closest from here to here. Looking at the truss rod, we're gonna take a capo, or you can depress with your first string. I like having as many hands usable as possible. So I'll depress the first string and the very last string, and then see if there's any space in the middle of the guitar. So right now, this is when I'm tapping it, it's making a very slight noise, but not very much. And all the strings are touching. So this truss rod is just too straight. So that happens if it's sitting in a guitar shop for a while and it's being played. Um, humidity and seasons change can also change how the wood reacts with the string tension. So this is very straight or back bowed, which means I'm going to adjust the truss rod to give a little bit of relief. Every guitar should have a bit of relief to remove any buzzing. So the truss rod is straight. It means it's hitting all the way here. I'm going to take my Allen key and loosen the truss rod. So right now it's too tight, which means that it's too, mu too pulled this way, which is clockwise, counterclockwise, I believe. Counterclockwise, clockwise. Anyways, righty tighty lefty loosey. So if I'm staring down the guitar, I'm going to loosen the truss rod by going to my left. This will be your right. And just a quarter turn or an eighth of a turn to start. I'm gonna sight the neck. It's still pretty straight. I'm looking at the edges of the frets to see if there's any bowing or if, or if there's any back bowing, which means there would be a lump in the middle. It's still pretty straight, so I'm gonna do a little bit more of a turn. Again, an eighth of a turn or a quarter turn usually does pretty well. There we go. So I'm just seeing a slight amount of bowing now. I'm gonna tune the guitar back to pitch. All right, and I'm gonna play all the way up the fretboard again. All right, so there's no buzzing in this area anymore. 
because I gave it a little bit of relief so there's more space between the bottom of the string and the top of the fret. After we've got no buzzing along the fretboard and we check our string heights that they're exact to what we want, some people prefer 2 seconds to 2 seconds. some people want 2 millimeters to 1.8 millimeters. it's totally up to you and your playing style. Um, we're going to work on the intonation now. So your scale length on every guitar is different. Most fenders are 25 and a half inches. This Freya is 24 inches, which means from the front of the nut to the front of the saddle is 24 inches. You're, when you're intonating your instrument, you're making sure that from the first to the 12th and the 12th to the front of your saddle is, exact, is the exact distance. So from here to here, from here to here has to be perfectly exact. Otherwise, your string will be out of tune when you're playing on your frets. All right, so when we tune the open string, we're gonna tune up our E, and we're gonna press down on the 12th string, and that's a little bit high, which means the saddle is a little bit too close to the 12th fret. So this and this, again, have to be equal. So in order for this on a sharp note to come forward, Oh, sorry, it's too sharp. So it needs to go backwards. So in order for this to move back, I'm going to tighten the screw just slightly. And that'll bring the whole saddle back. Just a little bit. Awesome. And then press on the 12th string, 12th fret. Still a little bit sharp. So I'm going to bring it back again. Tighten that, about a quarter turn. Tune the open string again. And then depress the 12th. And that's perfect. So when you press the open string and the 12th string, you want both uh, notes to be perfectly in tune. We're gonna move to the B string. And that's perfect. So we know that from here to here and here to here, it's exact on both the E and the B string. We're gonna do that for every single string. So that's low. And that's perfect. So the downside of having two strings on the barrel means a little bit more adjusting so you get them as even as possible. So that G which can be tuned up. There we go. This means the saddle is too far back if it's too low. So we need to bring the saddle forward. Last time, to bring the saddle further back, we had to tighten the screw. To bring the saddle forward, we have to loosen the screw, which means we're going counterclockwise. Just a little bit. Ooh, so close. All right, just a little bit more. So loosening the screw and making sure that we're pulling it forward. Awesome. 
make sure when you're pressing on the 12th string that you don't bend the string because that will make your tuning a lot harder. There we go. Perfect, so we've got all four strings intonated and we're gonna do the last two. So A is in tune, we're gonna depress the 12th and that's very low. So both these strings are low on the tuner, which means we're too far back. We need to move the saddles forward. So same thing as the D and the G. We're gonna loosen the screw from the back and push forward. Tune up. Awesome. So we've intonated every single string now, which means we can move on to the pickup heights. For the pickup heights, we want to make sure that the pickups are balanced. So we're going to measure from the top of the magnet to the bottom of the string, but holding down the last fret. So right now that's at 1 32nd. It's on the low E and that's at 1 32nd. So that's very, very close to the string. And this neck pickup is at 2 30 seconds to 2 30 seconds. So this pickup is a lot lower. It means that when we're in the back position, this is gonna be a lot louder because the magnet is closer to the metal string than when we're in the neck position and the neck is further away. Some people like to just do it by sound, which means they'll play in both positions and see which one is glaringly louder. So we could, if we're playing we can already hear that this is much louder. So we're going to adjust them so they're equal, pressing down the last string. I'm going to move the pickup down by tightening the screw and compressing the spring. And then check the height again. So from the bottom, press, depressing the last fret from the bottom of the string to the top of the magnet. That looks good. I'm gonna bring this pickup up a little bit, which means that I'm going to unscrew so counterclockwise so that the spring can push up. And then measure again, depress the end of the fretboard. So all these heights are now equal, but just this height. There we go. So they're both equal distance from the bottom of the string to the top of the magnet on both strings. 
You can adjust certain pickups with these screws and move the pull pieces up and down, but I've already radiused this to the string height. So I'm going to leave it there because I know that every string is now equal across those poles. Once we've raised and lowered the action, adjusted the truss rod, done the intonation, and balanced the pickups, you're ready to play. <laughs> I'm Meredith Coloma with one of my short scale Freyas at Rufus Guitar Shop. Please like and subscribe in the links below.